Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will be swatching some new Inktense pencils that I just purchased. Um, they're mostly green shade and there are a few that are earth colours. Um, as you can see I've made a little swatch card here on my Bockingford paper, my new pad. Um, what I'll be doing, I will be using the pencil dry on one side and then using some of the pigment from the dry area on this side with water and see how they look. Um, so let's begin. Now, just a quick check on Baloo. He's in his bed. He is not asleep. So, <laughs> this may turn out to be a disaster of a video, but let's just keep our fingers crossed. I'm sorry about the lighting. It keeps changing because there's clouds and sun outside alternating, alternating, I cannot speak, alternating. Um, so, the the lighting may change a little bit um, throughout. Um, my apologies for that. So I'm going to begin with apple green. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swatch it on one side like that. And with my brush, I am going to add some water, a little bit more water, and just make an oval on this side. Wow, that is bright. That is almost fluorescent. Hmm, let's wait and see when it dries, if it stays that vibrant. So that was apple green. Next, I have a colour here called fern, which that's much more a green that I can get behind. That is nice. It's almost like an olive green. I'm not quite sure that Bockingford was made for this um, <laughs> for um, pencil swatching but because they're ink pencils maybe I'll be forgiven. Oh, okay. Well, it's not dissimilar to that, but um, it's definitely warmer, more earthy. If you can hear, there's a fly in my studio. It keeps buzzing around. Baloo hasn't noticed. He usually goes for the flies. Um, next is Vivid Green. Hmm. Interesting. Little bit on the artificial side, I'd say. In green in terms. <laughs> and just add a little bit. And my apologies, I needed to cut the video for about two minutes because I just got a, a phone call from my doctor, so where were we? Um, we were going to try out Vivid Green. Oh, wow. Mm, that 
is it's very transparent maybe I didn't take up enough pigment there we go I can imagine that in my illustrations where I illustrate the sea or maybe mixed with a brown for like more forest green um, okay sorry the phone call threw me a little so next I have teal green I, I love greens. I use greens a lot in my work. Um, and I would be happy just to paint with greens, to be honest. But <laughs> that is impossible. Um, I love them very much. So when I tried to ink tense pencils and I liked them, I thought I'd get a bunch of greens and try them out. Um, hmm, that's bluer than the vivid green. That's more like a phthalo green. Oh, it's a very turquoisey colour. I have to say, I'm very impressed with the bocking foot. I mean, for for this kind of work. I haven't tried it in um, my illustrations because I thought I'd do the colour swatching on this just to get a feel for it. But I'm liking how the colours look so vibrant on this paper. Okie dokies. Now, next we have beach green. Oh. That looks like a darker version of that. There we go. I don't see that I could actually illustrate just using these pencils. I don't know if you're meant to use them dry as well as wet. I think they would. Mm, they're a bit too too heavily pigmented, if that makes any sense. Oh, I'm liking that. Yeah, that is pretty. That is, I think that's the most natural looking green so far, though all of them like that together are pretty. I started it as an oval, I'm going into egg <laughs> shaped. Okay, next on the greens list is, oh, that's the wrong one is mallard green okay that's almost like a darker version of that sorry i can hear traffic outside i've got the windows open because it is a little bit warm. It's been quite a warm October and now it's, um, it's still in November. It's a little warm in here. Oh, I like that. I am a sucker for um, teal. That is so pretty. That is extremely pretty. Next, I have iron green. Oh, wow, that is dark. That's almost like a perylene. 
wonder if it um, dilutes as a perylene as well. Iron green. Yeah. Definitely has a perylene look-alike <laughs> um, thing going on. Not quite as dark. I wonder how it dries. Perylene's overused dry sometimes quite dull. I wonder if that dries dull as well. Okay. Next up. I think we're done with iron green. We have red oxide. So this is one of the earths. That I bought. All of these pencils I bought on Jackson's and I'll put a link underneath for each of these colours. Um, just a disclaimer they are affiliate links so if you purchase using that link if it's your first time you will get 10% off of your purchase. If not um, using the link will just help me a little bit. I'll be really grateful. It's every little bit ha helps. Um, wow, that is that is bright. It's still wet, but <laughs> I don't know what it looks. Oh, now that looks like permanent brown. One of my favourite Daniel Smith colours. Yeah. This overall has gone a bit wonky though. Yeah, that is pretty. I love how it, um, the warmth of it uh, contrasts with the cool greens. The next earthy colour. Well, earthy is a madder brown. I love madder brown. I couldn't resist purchasing one. Oh, that's very dark. Okay. That looks extremely dark for a madder brown. It's almost like a sepia. Or a Van Dyke brown. With a hint of um, red in it. Oh no, now I can see more red. Oh yes, that's the colour I love. It's just so strange, it looks so different when it's dry. Such a different... Well, you wouldn't expect it. Wow. That's very, very pretty as well. My ovals are very wonky, I apologise. I need to uh, perfect my oval, or oval shapes. And next, the last one is this Indian ink, which is very, very coal like. Um, see how dark that is then. Oh, that's nice. It's like a warm black. Oh, I'm liking them. I'm not one for bright colours, but I have to say, I can see me using the apple green 
mixed with um, something just to give it more warmth what, just to bring it down a, a notch because <laughs> it is screaming from the page as is um, fern is beautiful vivid green is very pretty teal green I must say the teal green and the mallard green look quite um, quite similar but this is bluer I would say and this um, sh uh, leans towards yellow more yeah the iron green definitely dries like a perylene green it becomes dull which I don't mind it's just something that the perylenes usually do apart from that perylene I tried the other day in my other video um, red oxide it's a very pretty colour I bet that heavily diluted that would produce some beautiful pinks same goes for madder brown and the Indian ink which is a lovely warm black I wanted to try these because um, I tested two out and I found that they do not uh, move after it, it no I tested two out and they are so staining that you could do like multiple layers on top and the color underneath wouldn't shift which I found had a lot of potential and I can't wait to try these out in um, some experimental work and um, tell you how it goes for now though I'm gonna leave you I'm gonna thank you sorry for the traffic again Baloo is still sleeping. I'm going to let you be and I'm going to say an enormous thank you for joining me again as I am learning the ropes because I have a lot of learning to do um, about filming and um, uploading to video. So thank you so much for your patience and thank you for being here. If you liked this video, please like the video <laughs> if you would like to see more of um, my swatching or my artwork or anything that I really do on this channel then um, please subscribe and make sure that you will be notified of this please be notified when I upload a video please hit the notification button um thank you so much i am just itching to go and try these on something experimental like uh, layering and seeing what happens um actually i might do a layering video with them later next week that if that's something you're interested in let me know thank you again um and i'll see you soon thank you bye Bye.